Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. My name is Barry and today we're going to be working on a 1992 Club Car DS. We've got this real nice black dash that we're going to be installing and to put that dash on I've got my ratchet with a 15-16 socket because we've got to get the steering wheel off. I've got a drill with a drill bit in it for 1 8 inch to put the screws in that comes with it. So first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and take this uh, steering wheel off. Now this one I got lucky and the cover was already off. But if it was on it all you need to do is remove four Phillips head screws and then get started. Now if you're as lucky as I am, this will just slide right off. Next what we'll do is we'll go ahead and come down here and we'll remove the key switch, the low oil light, and make sure that we've got everything lines up in the new dash. And I've also got to drill another hole in the new dash for our lights that we have on here that we just don't have a switch for yet. Now when I go ahead and take this off, I'll also be able to remove two screws and pull this panel right out. That way we can just have all the wiring come straight out and into the new dash. So let's get this started. Now the reverse buzzer's loose. This portion is off. Now we can look at putting our new dash on. Okay, I've now got the key switch in and tightened up. And I drilled a hole in and put the light switch in. Now, this is plastic. It, with temperature, it will expand and contract a little bit. And so since we just installed it, give it a day or two, especially if you live in a uh, sunny area, to come back and retighten everything just to make sure it stays tight. Now I've got it slid over this and what this particular one does is fit right over this edge. So what you'll do is you'll line it up, hold it in place, and go ahead and drill on one side and then what I'll do is I'll drill one hole and I'll put a screw in but I won't put the screw in tight I'll leave it loose then I'll come on this side, do the same thing, drill a hole, put a screw in loosely, and then come back once it's lined up and drill all the others, and then put all the rest of the screws in and tighten them all up at once. Okay, well, now we've got all the screws in here. It is mounted securely. Lights, key switch, everything that we need is here and it ain't going nowhere. Now it's time to put this uh, steering wheel. It looks tired, old. Let's see if I happen to have anything else we can replace it with. How about a brand new carbon fiber and chrome steering wheel with an adapter for plate? Just so happens this adapter plate slides right on. And what we'll do once I get this adapter plate here on, we'll put the stock nut right back on, tighten it down. Once I get it tight, I'm back to the steering wheel. There's this little plastic ring that's holding all the little Allen head screws in place. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, mount this, Take this ring off, set it down, align it with the screw holes 
Now these screw holes, there's a set for six and a set for five. We have a set of six here, so I'll have to line it up, tighten them up, and we'll be ready to ride.